Now, let's check our default domain password policy using the get ad default domain password policy commandlet. See there's all our settings, our complexity, our lockout settings, minimum max password age, minimum password length, password history, and our reversible encryption enabled is false. So let's go into uh, creating our first password setting object. We're going to use the new AD fine grain password policy. Give it a name of manufacturing. Our precedence again is 20, and our max password age is 180 days. Now it's worth noting that the max and min password age parameters, as long with the lockout duration and lockout observation window, are of type time span. So you do need to specify it in days, hours, minutes, and seconds. And I do suggest putting double zeros in rather than singles just to make it easier to read. Well, there's our rest of our settings. Now our complexity enabled we set to false. And here's our first gotcha here is the reversible encryption needs to explicitly be set to false because unlike the graphical interface it actually will set your reversible encryption to true and your protect from accidental deletion is set to false. So those two settings that are actually set the opposite way of the Active Directory Administrative Center. So we've got our password setting object created. We use the add ad fine grain password policy subject to manufacturing, and we're going to add the manufacturing group. Easily done. Now we'll create our next two. These ones do have a few more settings, as was in our previous demo. We have our lockout duration, our lockout threshold, and our lockout observation window. And we're going to set the reversible encryption again to false. Protect from accidental isolation is true. And add that to our human resources group. And we're done. We just need to go on to our director of HR. Very, very similar settings again. Add Stacy Andrews. And there we go. And that's our three password setting objects created. Now, if you want to view all the password setting objects, just use the get ad fine grain password policy filter star, and that'll give you the listing of and all the settings for those password settings. Now, if that becomes a little unwieldy, you so you have you know, 20 or 30 password settings, you can just look for a specific one by using the identity of the specific one you're looking for. So in this case, manufacturing. Now, if you're looking for which users and groups use the get ad fine grain password policy subject. So for this case, for the human resources password settings object, and it'll tell you which groups are assigned. So in this case, the human resources of object class group has been assigned to the password settings. Now, if you want to find out your resultant password policies, say for example, again, for Stacy Andrews, there's her settings there with the min and max passwords of 7 and 60 days. And you can see she's been assigned to the Director of Human Resources password settings. Back to Cecil again, who is the member of Human Resources and Manufacturing, has the Human Resources password settings applied to him as it has a higher precedence than Manufacturing. Now, if you needed to add a group, so again, the IT group, you wanted to add it to the Human Resources, Use the add ad fine grain password policy subject to human resources, subjects, IT in this case. Take a look and verify. And there you can see we have our two groups, human resources and IT. Now again, we've decided that was actually a bad idea before. So we're going to go and take, use the remove ad fine grain password policy and take IT out of human resources. And we'll double check and make sure that was applied correctly. And there we go. Now we're back down to just human resources. Now, if you need to remove a password setting object, use the remove ad fine grain password policy, click yes, and we get the dreaded red text. That's because we need to change the protected from accidental deletion to false. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now we should be able to remove the password settings. No problem at all. Do a quick check, make sure, check our remaining ones. 
we should just have HR and the director of HR. And that's all there is to it. That's all you need to know about uh, setting password setting objects with PowerShell.